Hey everybody, Randy here in the Eastwood Garage. Now that you've got yourself a MIG welder, let's go over some of the items you'll need for MIG welding and some items you may want that will help make the job easier. And remember, if at any time you want to visit eastwood.com for more information on any of these items, all you have to do is click or tap the button in the top corner of the video. The items I recommend getting right away are a welding jacket, helmet, gloves, and cart. You want a welding jacket to protect you and your clothes from sparks and bright light. You need a welding helmet to protect your eyes and face. I recommend an auto dimming helmet, which has been the most popular style for years. An auto dimming helmet allows you to look through the lens as you prepare to weld, rather than having to flip it down right before you strike an arc. This is an extra large view helmet, which is nice because you can see what you're doing even in tight areas. And this here is our panoramic helmet with a 180 degree viewing area that also comes with true color technology that allows you to work with improved clarity. You're also going to want a nice, comfortable set of gloves to protect your hands. We offer a few styles and thicknesses. Just grab the pair that meets your needs. If you're doing a lot of continuous welding, especially on heavier metal, you'll probably want a thicker pair because there will likely be more heat. Finally, a welding cart will not only hold your welder and supplies, but will also safely secure the gas bottle. Remember, the bottle must be secured. Never let your bottle stand free. We offer a few styles of carts that will hold a welder and plasma cutter, or even a pro welding cart that will hold two welders and two gas bottles, which is great if you have a MIG and TIG welder because you can keep them both on a single cart with the bottles for each secured and connected to the machines. Now, let's go over a few things you may want to have around when you're welding. A consumables kit is great because it will keep you welding when your tips wear out, which is going to happen over time. Same thing with a spool of wire. You don't want to run out of wire in the middle of a project. Plus, it's nice to have a couple sizes of wire on the cart, depending on the thickness of metal you're welding. And grab yourself a few inside and outside lenses so you can replace them when they get scratched or covered in welding spatter. A set of MIG pliers are great, not only for cutting the wire to the exact stick-out length, which is why they're offset about a quarter inch, but also for removing the nozzle and tips when they need to be replaced. A welding blanket will protect areas when you're working and you can also use them when plasma cutting. A MIG light's great for dark areas or if you're under a car where it's tough to see and get good light. Finally, a helmet bag and welder cover will keep your supplies clean from dust and debris in your shop, which is really nice if you do a lot of other work like grinding, painting, powder coating, or body work like sanding filler. Well, I hope this helped you decide what you need to go along with your MIG welder. And don't forget, Eastwood offers many more items to make welding easier, like copper backers, stitch weld magnets, panel holding systems, weld through primer, and more. For everything you need to do the job right when you're restoring a car, truck, or motorcycle, visit eastwood.com.